the federal government says plans are on to cut the grasses around all railway stations in Nigeria and also construct perimeter fence to ensure security of lives and property around railway stations in the country. The Minister of State for Transportation, Ade Guroyi, stated this during a visit to Igwebe local government area after the recent attack on the train station where 32 persons were reportedly said to have been adopted by the dead devil gunmen. The minister who expressed the federal government's sympathy over the recent ugly incident said government is concerned about the safety and protection of all Nigerians irrespective of where they live. He said the communities should not leave the protection of the railway and other government facilities in the hands of government alone. Adding that the federal government will as soon as possible set up a Nigerian Railway Coast Community Relations Committee to ensure the protection of government facilities in the area. I can assure you that the federal government remains on the third. The Nigerian Railway Corporation remains on the third. And that is why we will continue to operate this rail service. That's what was happening. We will continue. We are not going to stop. All we need to do is to ensure that we cross our T's and dot our I's regarding the safety and security of our people and passengers. So Edo State Government, through the governor, has decided to also assist us in clearing the bushes around. So that is an immediate thing by the grace of God. There are also steps we must take to ensure even better security. For example, perimeter fencing. It's on the cards. It's not arising from this meeting. It's been on the cards. We're just waiting for the appropriate funding so that we can do it all over the country. Others comment. I don't think it's good to shut down the operation. So we never give up. I don't think we will give up. While they are planning, we'll also be planning to ensure that uh, we don't have such a situation again. And uh, I believe it's a learning process. I pray we don't lose people while learning. The government can do better by providing adequate security. If they are short of manpower, they should employ more people and train them adequately to combat with the situation. With the visit by the Minister of State for Transportation, there are indications that the federal and state government are interested in the yet-to-be-released victims. Best Mbere, reporting for BTV News.